Three United States citizens missing for more than two weeks have now been found, but they've been found shot to death, and they were found in the Mexican border city of Matamoros. The three siblings, all in their 20s, Erica Alvarado Rivera and her brothers Alex and Jose Angel, were discovered along with the body of Erica's 32-year-old boyfriend, Jose Benitez, who is believed to be a, a Mexican national. The father of the three, uh, three young adults was the one who identified his children's bodies earlier today. Our senior Latin American affairs editor, Rafael Romo, joins me live from CNN Center in Atlanta. What happened here? Well, Ashley, there are some clues as to who might have been responsible for this, and it could have been an elite force with the local police. That twist number one in the investigation. But the other thing that I want to talk about is the fact that whoever this, did this did it to make a point. And let me tell you why. The uh, bodies, I was able to confirm this with the Mexican authorities, all three young people along with the Mexican companion were found tied by the hands and feet. All were shot in the head and the bodies were badly decomposed when found. Officials say they were kidnapped on October 13 in the city of Matamoros, just across the border from Brownsville, Texas, and killed the same day. There's an interesting story, like I was saying, Ashley. Investigators say witnesses told them an elite force of the local police, known as Group Hercules, was responsible for the kidnapping. Officials are now questioning nine officers who belong to the force of 40 in total. Authorities are trying to find out if the real elite force was responsible for this or whether this was a group of imposters. The bodies of the three Americans were identified by the victim's father. Ashley? So, I, you know, it just doesn't compute when you hear that the police might have actually been involved in this. Can you explain why that may make sense south of the border? Why the police would take three siblings, bind them hand and foot and shoot them in the head? It wouldn't be the first time, unfortunately, Ashley. We are also following a story of 43 uh, missing Mexican students where the police is believed to be involved in the disappearance because they were working, they were on the payroll of a Mexican drug cartel. There's also a case in the month of June where soldiers were accused of killing 22 people in a separate incident. So uh, I am not saying that that's what happened in this case, but we have seen a similar uh, incidents in the past. And so that's what authorities in the Mexican state so of Tamaulipas are trying to can, find out. Can you clear one thing up for me? And, mm -hmm. and it's this. The way these three siblings were found, it, like you said, it was absolutely a message. They were an advanced stage of decomposition, a very sad story, that poor father, what he had to go through to identify his kids. Uh, is this a message to America in any way, that these are three American citizens left like that? Or was this something completely different, maybe crime related, maybe something in, entirely different and it had nothing to do with their citizenship? At this point, there's absolutely nothing to say that there was, this was a message sent to Americans. Uh, we have to understand the context in which this is happening. Tamaulipas, the state where this happened along the Gulf Coast and just south of Texas, is in the middle of a war between two very powerful drug cartels who are fighting for territory. And so it's a very volatile, very violent state. And it's a possibility that these people might have been in the wrong place at the wrong time and they just got picked up. However, like I said before, the way in which they were killed raises a lot of questions as to whether why they were targeted and killed this way, Ashley. Just so sad for that family.